Brought to you by GatewayCitySavers.com. 101 ESPN.com presents the Redbird Report. Something is very obvious over the last couple weeks watching the St. Louis Cardinals baseball team struggle at times offensively, struggle at times defensively, not just in the infield, but specifically the outfield. And that one thing is, Ryan Ludwig is one of those guys you will not know how much you miss him until he's gone. There's so much talk right now about how Ludwig might be too expensive next offseason because the Cardinals are going to have to give a ridiculously big contract to Albert Pools, $25, $30 million a year, who knows. But combine that with what Matt Holiday already has received seven years and $120 million. It is a very good possibility the St. Louis Cardinals are going to have a model moving forward with their payroll of 40% or more tied up in two guys. And if you do that, you have to go much cheaper at a lot of other positions. So Ryan Ludwig is somebody who a lot of people think, okay, he's second time arbitration eligible this year, third time arbitration eligible next year, then he's going to be a free agent. Right now, look, he's in the $5 million range. Next year, he'll probably be closer to seven or eight. And then after that, who knows? He keeps on hitting 25, 30 home runs a season with 100 RBIs. And guess what? That guy is going to make maybe $10 million a year. And again, with what Albert and Matt Holiday have received, it might be too much to keep number 47 in the Cardinals lineup, but the way that you watch this team, Ryan Ludwig is so important. You will not know how much you miss him until he is gone. He is the only consistent good defender out there in the outfield for right now for St. Louis. Matt Holliday's calling card has never been defense, ever. I mean, he kind of moves a little bit slow. His arm is all right, but it's not very accurate. Matt Holliday's calling card is definitely offense, not defense. Colby Rasmus certainly has the potential. He certainly has the talent to do it, but for some reason, he just doesn't have that confidence in his arm to really throw anybody out. Ryan Ludwig, you watch him out there in right field. Not only is he making routine, just absolute incredible acrobatic diving plays all over the place, but he's the only person right now that if there was a tag play situation where someone from third base is trying to sacrifice and tag go and, you know, and run home, guess what? Ludwig's the only person right now that you would feel comfortable having thrown him out at home plate right now. And then you take into the fact that he's just been so good offensively. Yeah, he's a little streaky, but still, he's another person outside of Albert and Holiday that you know is going to continue to drive in runs, take good quality at bats. Look, I understand that David Freeze and Colby Rasmus are two good young power hitters coming up the system, but those guys are still young, still inexperienced, and we don't know what the Cardinals have long term in those two. Ryan Ludwig, excellent player, very consistent, very hard worker. Is he gonna be too expensive? Maybe. But guess what? You might not know how much you miss him until he's gone.